NYPD officers standing in silence, shoulder to shoulder, from different precincts and units, feeling the same pain, the loss of a brother, a fellow officer, Anastasio Sacos, saluting as his body made its way from Astoria, Queens, to Greenlawn in Suffolk County. Lieutenant John Pappas, commanding officer of the department's transit canine unit, worked closely with Sacos. They were also friends. His loss is tremendous. It, it really, it's a painful thing for his family, all those that knew him. Um, we're really heartbroken about it. Hundreds turned out as expected when a police officer is killed in the line of duty. Those who knew him well and even complete strangers showed up to support the family, his wife and two young children, also his family in blue. He's a good guy. He didn't deserve this. Nobody deserves this, but especially him. Sakos was a 14-year veteran of the force. He was diverting traffic off the LIE last week after a fatal crash involving a drunk driver when he was hit and killed by Jessica Beauvais, also allegedly drunk at the wheel. Lieutenant Pappas tells PIX11 his death was an avoidable tragedy. Nobody should be drinking and driving, uh, smoking marijuana and driving, or just recklessly driving. Um, these are the consequences of, of actions like that. He lived a life of service, first in the military in Greece, before moving to the city, joining the NYPD. But perhaps it's the work he did when he was not wearing his uniform that some will remember the most. He did a lot of behind the scenes stuff that people never, ever, ever saw, or and he didn't want any recognition for. When one of our uh, members was passing away from 9-11 cancer, he was there for that family. And that's just the kind of guy he is, was, um, and in our hearts will, always will be. While the area around the church shut down for a few hours, everyone's thoughts and prayers were with the family of an officer who gave so much and paid the ultimate sacrifice. Their lives will never be the same, but they inherited a family of 34,000 people. Um, and that's the only comfort that we can give them at this point. And the wake will continue through 9 tonight. His body will stay here at the church for his funeral tomorrow. Again, Officer Sakos leaves behind a wife and two young children ages 6 and 3. For now, we're live in Greenlawn. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.